Now, before finishing this section, I would like to talk a little bit about the surface behavior of this particular virus. It's the human papilloma virus 16, a major cause of cervical cancer. It's a DNA virus, a non-enveloped virus, 55 nanometers in diameter, replicates in the nucleus, and receptors for this virus are not entirely clear, except that they do use uh, as an important component uh, proteoglycan, heparin sulfates. The virus is acid activated and it is entering by endocytosis. Electron microscopy here shows that the virus on cell surfaces likes to bind to philopodia. These are the actin containing uh, extensions. You can see them in section here and the viral particles are attached to them. Many viruses bind to philopodia, as you'll see later. Here is just an enlargement of a particle and uh, the plasma membrane underneath it. Uh, when um, Mario Schellhaas, who did most of these studies together with uh, uh, Patricia Day and John Schiller at NIH, looked at this, they found that the viral particles, when they're sitting on the philopodia, are actually, I'll go back, you already saw it, I'm sure, moving down the philopodia towards the cell body. The philopodia is here stained with gfp labeled actin, and this, this surfing of viral particles towards the cell body happens for many viruses. It was first observed by Walter Mottes at Yale, and we see it now for many different viruses. So the viral particles in this case are not moving randomly on the surface of the cell, but they bind to specific structures and then they move in a very directed motion down this actin-containing philopodia. The movement is entirely dependent on the retrograde actin flow inside the philopodia. The actin is also moving from the tip down to the cell body. Now, um, this same phenomenon can see, be seen, or part of it, by electron microscopy you have here the cell surface. And here is the, the philopodium, or the beginning of it, and even the actin filaments are visible. And this may be a virus which is moving down to the, to the cell body. What then happens is the endocytosis of particles into the cell. The cell now internalizes the particles by endocytosis. Here we see already a vesicle, which contains a viral particle, probably emanating from the cell surface. And we can see this happens to many viruses. They are actively taken up by the cell. 